So the next thing we need to do is input the notes in our SATB part and then select a polyphonic staff style that will allow these notes to display properly so that we can have the soprano notes with the stems up, alto notes with the stems down, and so on. So let's start with our SATB part here. I'm going to pull up my step input keyboard again. And again, I need to start on beat two. So I want to select, I want to move my playhead over by one beat. So I'm going to select a quarter note, hit the right arrow on my keyboard. Now my playhead's on beat two, and I can start inputting notes here. Need a dotted quarter. Now here I need an eighth tied to an eighth. So I'm going to use a quarter note because a quarter note has the same value as an eighth tied to an eighth. Now here I need an eighth note tied to a quarter note. So I'm going to use the dotted quarter note. And I'm not going to worry about how it looks because remember logic's going to take care of this tie for me. So I'm just thinking about where the note starts and how long the note is. This is a note that is a beat and a half long that ties over the, the bar line. So I want to select a dotted quarter note. And when I click on the note here, there you go. That looks right. Now I can put in my last half note. Okay, so there's my soprano part. Now I can go back to the beginning and just repeat that process. So I'm good, I need to start on beat two. I'm gonna hit the right arrow key, and here we go. I'm gonna put in the alto part. Okay, and there's my alto part. Now I'm ready for the tenor part. Go back to the beginning, same thing. Move over by a beat. Oops, that was the wrong octave. Command Z is undo. Now notice how when I put in the D here on the tenor part, it jumped up to the treble clef. That's because I haven't assigned my polyphonic staff style yet. So don't worry about that. Just make sure you get the right notes in here. Okay, now I can put in my bass part. Okay, so now I've got all my notes inputted. So I'm going to close this keyboard here. So all my notes are, are in here, but they're not displaying correctly. I need to select a polyphonic staff style so that I can split all of these notes into separate voices here. So I'm going to use, I'm going to go over here to my staff style menu. I'm going to use the one here called piano one plus two slash three plus four. That's going to give me four separate MIDI channels that I can assign notes to and have four separate voices that can display differently. So when I select that, you'll notice that now all the notes are in the treble clef. That's because all these notes are still on channel one. So I can go here and I can 
click on a note, go up to the event box and change the channel here. This base part should be channel 4. This one should be channel 3. And this one should be channel 2. But that's kind of tedious. Not the best way to do it. I can also pull up this voice separation tool. Remember I can get to this tool menu by hitting escape. And with this I can draw a line and whatever node is below the line it will shoot down to the next voice. So I can do that. I can split these notes out this way. Still not the best way to do this. So we can do this easily with a key command. So to do that, I'm going to select all these notes. Let me turn off these duration bars here for now. So with all these notes selected, I'm going to go up to Functions, Note Events, Set MIDI Channel to Voice Number. And you'll see the key command is Option V. So what this will do is split all of these notes onto separate voices. If you played this in, you'd want to make sure your notes are quantized, otherwise this might not work properly. But since we use the step input keyboard, it should be good to go. So I'm just going to select all these notes, hit option V, and now all the notes were put onto the appropriate channels. Now I've got the soprano part here with stems up, alto part here with stems down, and the same thing down here for tenor and bass. So now we've got some problems with this though. We need a little more space if we're going to put some lyrics in here. And also we've got two rests showing up right here on the treble and on the bass clef. So we want to go in here and, and edit this staff style to fix that. So I'm going to click on my staff here, go up to layout, show staff styles. This will bring up my staff style window. And here I can make changes. I'm going to make sure I'm on the right staff style here. That's the one I'm editing. Piano 1 plus 2, 3 plus 4. And the first thing I want to do is get rid of these extra rests. So you'll notice here, channel 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't need to, sh to show rests in channel 2, so I can, I'm going to hide those. And the same thing in channel 4. Now that I've done that, you can see that I have one rest on each staff there. The next thing I want to do is create some space here. So I'm going to go up here and I can create more space below the treble clef here and a little bit more above the bass clef. And now I've got some room to input some lyrics there. There's other things I can do here. Um, if you notice, in the assignment, the ties here on the soprano part all go up and the alto part they all go down. And then the similar thing here with the tenor and bass part. But if you look at our logic project, they're reversed. So we need to fix that. And we're, we'll do that in the same window here. So where it says tie, it's right now it's set to auto. I want voice 1 to always be up and voice 2 to always be down. And then same thing here, up in 3, down in 4. And now you'll see that that's looking right in our, in our choir part here. Now there's one more thing we can do here. If you notice in the assignment, the bar lines don't connect here between the two staves. So let's just turn that off for now, right here. And now you'll see that the bar lines are not connecting in the middle measures there. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to the next step. If you've caught up so far, go ahead and move on to the next video where we will be entering in the text and dynamics and accents and all those things.